Welcome back to Legends Next Training Session. I know what you're thinking right now. Does he only have one shirt? Yes, I do. Let's get started. So, in the last session, we were able to work to multiple objects, not multiple objects at one time, but a new object, and he is fetching down the table, he is coming back up the table, and today, we're gonna incorporate, if we can, this is my goal, and this is something you need to be thinking about as you're going. Where are you trying to get in your session so that if your dog is like, boom, I got this, you can help them to progress without just hammering the same thing into the ground that they've already proven that they know. If you're going to do that, your dog is gonna end up bored. And when your dog is bored, they're going to a lot of times not be as happy to do the training. Like this guy, we can always tell, he's got that tail wagon, he's confident, he's up here, he's not avoiding, he's ready to do this. So, we're gonna start with a little refresher. We're gonna move this guy down here. We're gonna add, see that little hitch in that bumper's giddy up there? We've got it turned sideways, it's a little closer to the wall. This is adding some level of challenge, but something that I think he'll definitely be able to handle. Fetch, send him down there to pick it up. Good job, here. Hold. Good. Now we're gonna add a lot of difficulty. Look at that bad boy. Sideways, right up against the edge there. Let's see if he can handle this one. Fetch. Ah, oh, man, you make this look too easy. Hold. Good. Okay, so. We've done that object. We did one or two quick refresher reps. Ooh, stop, bumper. Good. We've got another one here. Fetch. Look at that. Excited to go do it. Happy to go do it. Ah, fetch. Nope, 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 nope. Right here. Fetch. Good. Let's do another one. Fetch. Nick, 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 Nick. We're still on a six on the collar. Seems like a really good working level for him. In this stage in the game, constantly using that collar. Tap, 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 every single rep. We wanna make sure that he is conditioning a response to the collar. Good. Now, this is where things are gonna get a little tricky. Instead of moving through the, the, the whole collection of things there, the gamut, if you will, we're going to take two that he's done well, and we're gonna put them both on the table. Now, when we think about this, you probably go, huh, let's put two down here on the table. Well, folks, this is difficult. He's got options. He has to kind of move them around. These don't seem like difficult things to us, but for him, it will be difficult. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make it easy. The smaller the steps we take in dog training, the faster we're gonna get there. We have one bumper here, and then we're gonna take the second bumper and put it here, but there are two on the table. Ideally, he's gonna come, he's gonna get this one first, bring it back to me. Second, he'll come down here and get this, bring it back to me. Now, if he skips over this one to pick this one up, not the end of the world, we're still gonna send him for the second one on the table. Let's see how he handles this. Ready, fetch. Next, the whole time, good job, that's what we want here. He's checking it out, it's okay. Hit vibrate, hold. A little sloppy with this one. Hold, let's work on holding it just a second. Nice. Put that one out of the way, and we're gonna send him for the next one. Fetch. Good job, bud. Here, hold. Now, again, this guy made that look easy. So let's add some challenge. I said this down here is gonna be difficult. So let's give him difficult. Fetch. See that? Took him a second to figure out which one am I gonna pick up? Hold, Arr, hold. A little verbal correction, that little Arr, means something to them. They understand that kind of language. That was me saying, hey, that's not right, buddy. You need to hold on to that, quit screwing around. Good. Let's send him on the next one, fetch. You got to see his brain work, hold. He had to figure out which one is he gonna pick up, which, how is he gonna work through that. Good. Now, those objects, piece of cake. Let's work through something else. Multiple objects are gonna be important. These, 
he didn't like. So this could be a bit more of a struggle, but it's something we can work with. It wasn't, uh, you know, end of the world kind of didn't like, but it was uh, not his favorite. So we're gonna do every new object. We're gonna teach him as if it's the first time he's ever done it. Well, it's because it is. Just because he understands how to fetch one object doesn't mean he understands how to fetch everything. We have to teach him this. It's gonna get easier and take less reps as we go, but it is gonna take a few reps to teach him Fetch this out of my hand, fetch it off the table, then we'll go back to fetching down the table. Good, fetch, right here, fetch, good job, good. Fetch, right here, fetch. You can already see, we've conditioned this going down the table and he likes the idea of that. He's doing fine fetching this now, so let's give him the opportunity, come on. Send him fetch, nick, 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 until it's in his mouth, good, hold. Hold, nice job. Okay, that one was pretty easy. We've done this one, we've done that one, we've done this one. Let's see what else we've got in here. I'm not 100% ready for this. We're gonna keep that in its own session. That's a pretty big creature in itself, but let's add some variety with the smaller one here. Fetch, teaching him this again. Ah, stay here, hold, good. Fetch, good, that was pretty easy. What we're about to do is stack him up something that's kind of difficult. So we want to add, and then we'll throw this one in. This is a similar type of thing to the DT soft mouth. I don't even know where we got this. It says lucky dog on it. Probably found it in a pond somewhere or something. Fetch. Ah, come here. He says, I don't know about that one. Good, hold. Fetch, good. Okay, now we've got a collection. We have, All of these. He's already proven he can do the multiple steps. He's proven he can do the pile. So let's make a different, difficult pile. We've got these here. These are touching. Look at that, right there. These are touching. That will be difficult. Then we've got these, different directions. It's not a super tight pile, but it's, it's more of a, what's going to be a distracting pile in the sense that they're all here and they're closer. This may be too much for him. We're gonna try it and we're gonna see. We wanna to continue to challenge without overdoing it. I don't think we're gonna be overdoing it, but it would be good to show him not do it something perfect. Ready? Fetch. Nick, Nick, Nick on the way down there. You see him looking, looking, thinking. Pick one, pick one, fetch. Here. It's called shopping, folks. He picked one up, he set it down. He picked up another one, then he brought it to me. Had I not got on him a little bit, he would have probably set that one down to pick up another one. That's a very normal response to having lots of options. It's something that he'll get better with. We need to stay on top of him. We're gonna say fetch to remind him when he gets down there, and then we're gonna get right on him with either vibrate or verbal legend here to come back. Fetch. Ah, there we go. He said too confusing, so we're helping just a little bit of movement. Fetch, no. Fetch, no. Hey, fetch, pick one. Nice job. A little bit of encouragement there. Okay, folks, ah, fetch, good. You got to see something, right? He went down to that pile, they were close together, he's not done that yet, and it was not with that many options, and it's one of those things where he turned around and came back. What did I do? I walked with him. I didn't walk right next to the table. Try and keep distance between us. We need to get to that point where he's more comfortable not being right next to us. And we were able to work through that. I stayed on the collar. I didn't go up any levels or change anything. Just continued that nick, nick, nick until he got one in his mouth and then was encouraging. A good boy. Not a big, happy, giddy, because that's going to end up distracting him more and potentially causing him to need more correction. We're gonna to have to send him back down there to get it because he'll get excited and leave it down there. We don't want that. Just a good boy, it's words of encouragement. He understands that's a good thing. And then he was able to you know, kind of finish from a confidence standpoint and bring it back to us. Let's pick up these last couple and then we're gonna end this session for him. Fetch. Good. Right down to it, it gets easier as the pile gets smaller. 
that cigar isn't necessarily what we want, but we can do a little fix here. Hold. Good job. Fetch. Just nick, nick, nick till he gets it in his mouth. So that time he was moving a little bit slower. He probably felt the nick button, oh, headed down there in the time it took him to pick up 10 to 12 times. Tap, 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 all the way down there. Good. Ellie's then got a bumper or an object in his mouth. Sending him for the last one. Fetch. This one should be easy. It's the only one there and it's one that he's good at. Good job. Nice. Hold. Folks, that's what we're going to do for this session. Um, we made, again, a mountain of progress. We went from kind of understanding two pretty well to being able to pick up multiple off the table to working through multiple different objects in our bucket and then being able to pick up all of those out of one pile at the end of the table. These are all really, really, really big things in the progress department. We're not going to get greedy. We're not going to push for any more. Next session, we will probably be ready to move into birds. We'll go back to that frozen bird and incorporate a fresh killed bird. We'll be doing all of that with collar conditioning to fetch. And then once we can mix that bird into this pile, we're pretty much ready to be off the table, start the, the groundwork and move into that, getting us back to the field. We are in the finishing lap here. Um, I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Legend and we'll both see you in his next video. Mm -hmm.